What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and to more lightsaber duels in Battlefront 2. Today we are dueling the lag just as much as we're dueling other players. This opening fight with Obi-Wan wasn't too bad, but you'll see in some of the follow-up games just how bad it was. Here we get a clean freeze on Kenobi as he's trying to do a defensive rush. That mind trick stops my abilities, but a two out of three of them are on cooldown anyway. And now he's defensive rushing, so I know I can't hit him with a regular attack, so I go for Frenzy. Since it's ability damage, it will hit him. I missed the pull. Uh, he must have landed on the ship uh, right as it hit. Keep my block up to avoid the push. I hit him with that hook swing, and then Frenzy kind of freaks out because of the weird levels. Lag and elevation changes are the two killers of lightsaber combat in this game, and you'll see both affecting these fights. I got that cheeky shot in after the push. And I was able to get him with that pull, even though I couldn't follow up. Whenever they jump away is a good time to use force abilities, since they can't avoid it. The block breaker on that frenzy actually got through, even though it didn't look like it, and that was because of the lag. Here he's backing up, and I thought he was going to try to push me by hiding in the corner, but he was just going for some high ground there. I missed my pull, so I figure we'll just meet him up there and have a epic duel in the episode 1 location. <laughs> we exchange emotes. And this is always dangerous, because if you take a wrong step or you eat the wrong ability, you will fall off. So I'm... I took way too many shots in that exchange, so I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious. I don't try a hook swing, I just jump past him just in case I landed wrong and he hits me. And I get to finish it with Frenzy. These next two duels is where the lag really started getting bad. And this Kylo was savvy. Anakin versus Kylo Ren is always a decent matchup, they're both powerful. Here we're exchanging some shots and dodges, trying to see what we do. I missed that Heroic Might. I always try to do either Heroic Might or Repulse whenever Kylo Ren does his Frenzy, because it's a guaranteed knockdown. And you'll see me try that a couple more times. We're both taking it slow. I think that attack connected. I didn't have Heroic Might, so I just attacked back as I casually sidestepped that pull behind cover. Here he's trying some unorthodox dodging. Turning around before dodging, and I actually missed an opportunity for an attack there. He blocks my pull, but I'm holding on to my Heroic Might for the next Frenzy. So I'm kind of trying to bait that by frustrating him uh, by avoiding his regular attacks. And there's the Frenzy, and I hit him with the Heroic Might. But I only had stamina for one follow-up. I missed that pull, and he hits me with his. And you can see that I've got three bars of lag up in that top right corner this entire time. And it is not good for lightsaber duels. Not one bit. I got that shot in there, which was uh, a rare opportunity. This guy was really good at doing just one shot and then going back to defense. Definitely knew how to duel. I avoided that pull. Again, I didn't have repulse, so I couldn't hit him uh, when he was doing Frenzy, and I kind of wasted it there. Although it staggered him for a second, so I think I that's why I was able to get that one shot in. That was a good freeze. I think I'm trying to bait some parries here. Just waiting for the opportunity to attack, because he's doing good about timing the attack and then going back to the block. There's Frenzy, so I hit him with Heroic Might, and then finish it with an attack. Next round was Luke versus Kylo, and the lag was equally bad here. If not worse. Now there I tried a uh, variation of the hook swing maneuver. I did a hook push. It was basically the exact same principle where you jump behind them and then hit them with a the lightsaber, but instead I hit them with a force ability. Figured I'd give it a shot. I didn't have repulse, so I just parried some frenzy hits and hit him with that push. Although he got that freeze on me. And now I have repulse, so I just gotta wait for the frenzy again. There it is. 
Except I was not good on the timing there. I think I tried to parry. And then when I realized I could hit him with it, I was a little too late. But I have Epicenter on the star card, so you'll see that the damage will still snake through. And that's actually how I won this duel. It was pretty cheeky, and I can't imagine that the guy was pretty happy about it. I was happy about it, though. Got one attack into his back. And he's low on stamina. So I'm just trying to keep up the pressure here since his health is low too, but he gets that knockdown on me with two follow-up attacks. That was good. I wasted that push. And there's Frenzy, so I go for the knockdown. Couldn't follow up though. That was lucky. Yeah, he is very low on stamina. And with that knockdown, I tried that attack, missed because of the lag, and then I finish it with Epicenter. I audibly yelled, WHAT, when that last attack didn't go through. Now, these matches were the namesake of the video. This was a straight-up sparring contest between myself and uh, Mindmaster here. Shout out to you, man, if you're watching the video. This guy was a good duelist, but he was taking these matches as if they were just practice rounds, which I really appreciated after a while. This first fight with Vader was actually a legitimate duel. Um, he beat me. Uh, Vader is very difficult to fight, especially if the uh, opponent is good. Uh, I took this loss in stride, even though the jump attack he got me with was a little weird. Right here, he gets me with it. Wasn't that weird? I wasn't sure if it was lag or what, or if my hitbox was just behind me a little bit, but it seemed like I dodged it, and then he hit me anyway. Now, this is the round that where things got interesting, because he started it as a legitimate duel. We were exchanging shots, force abilities, we're blocking each other. And about two minutes in, he stopped attacking, and he would only block and back up. And it really took everything I had to try to get behind him and get some damage in, and I was for the most part successful, but I just couldn't follow up to get the finish. Like, he's low right now, but this was the story of the entire four-minute sparring match. That's what I'll call it, because it wasn't even a duel. As you'll see, I do a little back and uh, forward and back dodge to throw him off, and that actually got two hits in. That was good. I should have done that more. There was Epicenter activating again. He blocks that shot, even though I felt like he shouldn't have but we were lagging a little bit in this match too. And there's that hook push again. But it pushed him a little bit too far, so I couldn't follow up. And that lightning stun, if you notice, that was the first offensive thing he had done in the last minute. And that's kind of what made me think he was still in it for, you know, the duel and for the win, so I thought, okay, we'll just keep going all out. So I'm trying to get the damage in, but he's not throwing anything. He's just blocking and backing up. And here's where I'm starting to get a little bit suspicious. I'm like, why isn't he attacking me? Epicenter gets some damage in. I got that shot in. He went for another lightning stun, but missed it and I got a shot in. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just doing everything I can to try to get behind him, but he was good. And Dooku's third dodge makes it really hard uh, to keep up with him. Unless you're playing as Ray with uh, the Balance Star card. And right there, I gave him a little wave with my saber because I caught on to what he was doing. I skipped ahead about two minutes because, legitimately, it was the same thing for the full five minute round. I'm just having a really tough time getting behind him to finish him off. But I had some pretty good attempts here. As you'll see, I got some hook swings in. Uh, I think I got another hook push in. I kind of felt bad for our teammates because they were sitting there for five minutes, unable to do anything. Got one hook swing there. I was disappointed that knockdown didn't work because I don't think his feet were on the ground when it hit. No, Mindmaster was really good though. There's a hook swing. So I got close a couple of times. And there's uh, keeping up more permanent damage with Epicenter. Another hook push, and I won't lie, it was a little bit frustrating, but it was also a really eye-opening experience, and I appreciated it, uh, appreciated it at the end of the duel, because it made me realize that 
if you're offensive, that's when you leave yourself open to be attacked. But if you're defensive and you're just blocking and backing up and managing your stamina properly, you're almost untouchable. Unless the opponent knows how to get behind you with, you know, good dodges and hook swings and stuff like that. But even then, if your defense is on point, you will be tough to take down. And it was a very eye-opening experience for me. And that's the round. Ended in a draw. But I figured we'll uh, finish this episode with a bit more of an exciting one since that was just a bunch of dodging and mix, uh, missed attacks. I can't talk today. But here I take on Darth Vader with Rey, and uh, he got a lot of damage in pretty quickly, so... Uh, that was a huge mistake on my part. Here it <laughs> registered that I should probably stop attacking and let Rey's health come back for a second. I hit him with the mind trick and I go for a dash attack here, but I miss. Got two shots in there. And we finish it with some parries. Pretty clean win with Ray there. But that is it for today's video. Thank you all for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you guys learned something new about uh, being defensive in lightsaber duels with that uh, Count Dooku duel. I know I did. It was very eye-opening. I definitely learned something. Um, and that's kind of what you want to do with these duels. You want to take at least something away from every single one. If you lose, you want to ask, why did I lose? And if you win, maybe review the footage if you recorded it and look at what your opponent did and the mistakes they made that led to you being able to get the win. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Be sure to get notified by ringing that bell down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.